Over the past four years, we've been working with teachers across the country to co-develop a science capital teaching approach. It's a mindset, really. It's working with your existing curriculum. It's not a whole new set of materials. And at the base of it is trying to broaden what counts as doing science in the classroom. But there are three main aspects of the approach. The first is personalising and localising science. This is going beyond just contextualising science, it's really linking it to young people's lives. There's then the idea of valuing what young people bring with them, so eliciting their ideas, their experiences, what they know about, what they care about, valuing this and linking it to science. The third aspect is building the different dimensions of science capital. For example, conveying the idea that science leads to lots of jobs, not just jobs in science. Who's ever stood on one of these with a foot? Stabbing into your foot, isn't it? Yeah, stabbing into your foot. An example of how I'm able to localise today, we, we spoke about um, football boots to do with pressure. And we gave examples of their 3G pitch. The, the class is very athletic and a lot of them play the football on the 3G pitch that we've got outside. We had a picture on and they were like, oh god, yeah, we go on that. That's something that's in my life. Where would you wear football boots? On grass. On grass. Where might you not wear football boots? Um, like concrete. Why is that? I have a singer, so when we talk about sound, I can use her background. I have a dancer, so I can use that when we're talking about physics. So eliciting value and linking is an important part of Science Capital. Being in a classroom, students always have something to say, so it's making sure what they're saying is actually valued, so they continue being in a position where they want to say something. The pressure, he's got enough weight, brilliant. You very often get students, well, science isn't important, I don't need the science for my job. So I think it's very important to show them that science is in everything that they do. I feel like it's really helped me with my teaching. I feel like it's helped the students value learning science and made it absolutely relatable to their lives. It's generating wider student engagement in the lesson. There's increased understanding, there's uh, better student attitudes to science, and perhaps most important of all, it's been happier teachers. It makes a massive difference to, to me in the engagement students have and how I look at the topic as well to make it more approachable for them so it's in their grasp. It's a subject that they can see themselves doing now and hopefully that will continue in their coming years in school. They want to be there, they want to be in my classroom, they're bouncing up the corridor, they've got happy faces and I get goodbyes out of them instead of they're just storming out of the classroom. It doesn't take a lot of time to do this and, but the, the outcomes can be fantastic, it's, it's a no-brainer. <laughs>